Welcome back to the Chuckster. So today I have a Halloween tutorial for you from everyday makeup items, so hopefully anybody could do it. Ignore, ignore my hair, okay? I don't know what it's doing, I slept in it, so yeah, just ignore it. It's meant to be a bun. <laughs> I say everyday makeup items, however, I have bought one pound shop face paint just because I want to look paler and I didn't want to spend like 10-15 pounds buying a lighter foundation when I'd go to the pound shop and get some shitty white so yeah other than that it's everyday makeup items <laughs> firstly I'm gonna go in with um well I say primer but it's just exfoliating milk just because I feel like I need a protective layer from the shop white shit so I'm just gonna go in with that Right, I'm gonna go for a zombie look to go with... Okay, this is annoying me, guys. Hold on, hold on. So I'm gonna go for a zombie look to go with my Victorian outfit because Halloween is the one night a year where me dressed as a Victorian looks kind of normal. And I thought Halloween-y about it is... Or well, from the Victorian period, you know, good 150, 200 years ago, so... I've come back from the dead type of thing. So we're gonna go for a zombie look and... Uh, I bought some Pound Shop Day of the Dead face paint just because I want the white to look a bit paler because as I said I didn't want to spend loads buying a lighter foundation. Okay so it comes with a sponge I can tell you now very very shitty. Okay I'm hoping that this isn't actually going to come out like white white I, I just want it to like blend in with my face, make it a bit paler, you know? I mean, I've already hit pan. I don't know if it's actually gonna be enough to cover my whole face. God, I'm actually scared. It's not like white white, which is good. I, I am just going paler, so it's doing what I wanted. Oh my God. Guys, I only have the one beauty blender, so I don't wanna get face paint on it. But if you have more than one beauty blender, use it, cause this is just pain. Sorry, I'm off camera a lot. I'm gonna bring the camera down. Because I slouch anyway, so. Yeah, and then this way when I'm looking down into the mirror, I'm not off camera. Okay, so this is me looking paler, just because, you know, you're a zombie, you've been dead. You know, you don't actually, you don't have blood pumping through underneath your skin, you know, making it pinky. So, now, I've got to look rotting and skinny because obviously your skin will start to rot away and hence you're just left with the skeleton after, after years and years of decomposing. So, I want to go for like skeletal cheekbones and sunken eyes also kind of like green and yellowy because it's rotting not that i have necessarily green or yellow makeup i'm going in and just applying more over the top because this is going well guys it's going really well see ugh. I can't afford lighter foundation, but if I did have lighter foundation, I can build on top of it. So this white face paint clearly isn't buildable. What if I just go in with eyeshadow? What if I just go in with a black found with, with, with a black eyeshadow with a contour brush? Okay, well I applied too much because I did not realise my black found my, my black eyeshadow was so pigmented. I mean, that's good. I mean, oh my god, it's made my nose black as well. That's good, in a way, because I do need to look dirty. Because, you know, I've been underground for, for hundreds of years. It's just too much here to blend out. I look a bit like Tyler from 21 Pilots when he has, like, has the, like, tattooed neck effect what I kind of feel like right now. I mean, I'm definitely starting to look a bit deathly, so that's something. I now want to go in again with the sunken look, but I'm gonna go with a lighter shade. I'm gonna go with uh, this brown one here from the Misguided Palette. This 
this is good. Honest, oh, I'm dis bitterly disappointed in the like black contouring, but I think it, it has accentuated my cheekbones, but I think I do look a bit more deathly. And oh my God, the eyes look so sunken. Yes. See, in real life, when I look at the mirror, I don't see anything on my eyes because it's, it's actually quite subtle. But on the camera, I look so deathly, which is good. I feel like I need some blood. There is this wine red face paint that Poundland gave us. Now, I think if I use that as well as this red lipstick I have. Yes, yeah, so I have this red one here. I think if we mix it with this like wine red here, it'll be quite good. Now I am going to use the Pound Shop brush for this because it's small and concise. Problem is, right, I don't know where I want to put the blood. I think because my hair will be slightly down, well, I'll have a bonnet on it. So I think if it looks like my head has had some trauma, I think if I actually just go in with the lipstick, I'm actually going back to college to do uh, beauty and because I have to do like a year of hair and beauty before I could do theatrical makeup so like doing like monsters or blood <coughs> you know special effects for movies stuff like that uh, is like something I actually want to study and get better at so yeah I'm just trying to make the actual gash like a different shade of red making it deeper than the skin around it and actually I'm just going to go in with a bit of oh no not with my that's not powder is it that is not powder that's face paint I'm going to go in with a bit of black again dirty up my nose just because like, I'm literally just trying to dirty myself up now I want a green and a yellow as I said before uh, not necessarily complexion, but like patches of where my skin has been rotting. I do have this palette here, which is the Twelfth Night Winter Shades by MWA. I've got to be honest, I stole this palette. It was in a public bathroom for a week when I was on holiday and no one had claimed it. It was just sat in the bathroom, so I kind of took it. Not gonna lie. Someone had obviously forgotten about it, so I didn't want it to go to waste, you know. I do have a green shade there. I have gold shades, but I don't really have a yellow shade. Like, this is very, like, pinky. This is brown. This palette's also pinky purpley. That gold, it's a shimmer. That's the only problem. I need a matte. And the other yellow I have is a shimmer. And if I don't drop my palette so it smashes into a million pieces, that'd be great. Need some green. It's a darker green than I'd like. I want a more of like a lime green. Okay, so that's my attempt at rotting. Didn't go well because I don't really have the colours. So I'm just gonna ignore that. What is left? My lips are still looking very, very healthy. So the palest lipstick I have, like nudie, is by uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, in the shade Kiss. This is the palest I have, although it's still quite, quite nudie, but it does actually come up quite pale. So hopefully it'll blend into my white skin a bit more. It's not really white anymore, is it? <laughs> Actually, I'll go for a different approach. I put a little bit of red in, it looks like, you know, I have blood around my lips. You know, recent fresh blood. So we're just gonna kind of ombre it. See, the red in the middle makes makes the kiss look very pale now. 
Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So this is my zombie look for my Victorian outfit. So guys, here is the finished product. Me in my outfit. I mean, it's kind of smudged since putting this on. I have red on here now, but oh well. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you can do it yourself. That would be great. And yeah. Easy wave guys, subscribe.